after a wonderful visit to Deanston Distillery, we made the eight mile journey to Cromwell's house. Here's a travel tip when driving around Scotland. Allow yourself plenty of time to drive between your destinations. For example, this short eight mile trip took us 17 minutes. The Cromlicks House is an elegant Victorian Perthshire mansion that was converted into a 15-bedroom boutique five-star destination by tennis superstar Andy Murray. The hotel opened in 2014 and offers one the chance to experience the luxurious lifestyle once enjoyed by the Lairds of Cromlicks. Cromlick's house is set on 34 acres of secluded woodlands and gardens. Hello friends, welcome to another new vlog. This is Carnes and me. We have just driven to the Cromlick's House Hotel. And this place it looks, it's behind me. It's exactly what it looks like. It looks like that uh, Hercule Poirot could solve a mystery. We're in the Inglis room, um, old stately inn, and uh, it's owned by Andy Murray, so Wimbledon cute. champion from uh, Great Britain. And it's a beautiful place. It's it's very secluded. We're back here in the woods. We're going to take a little walk into the woods now. But wanted to welcome you to a new. Um, adventure at the Cromlick's house. We're very excited. The property has its own lock called House Lock. This lock is stocked with brown trout. There are rods and reels available at the house for fishing. We also visited the kitchen garden and the chicken coop. The Cromlick's house features a reception hall, two drawing rooms, a conservatory, a dining room, a snooker room, and a chapel. One of the unique things at Cromlick House is the chapel. The needlework and banners in the chapel were made by Mary Drummond, wife of Colonel Arthur Drummond. They owned this estate from 1901 to 1953. The drums in the chapel are from the regiment in which he served, and the bagpipes in the chapel also belong to them as well. There is also a pipe organ that is still played at weddings and special services held in the chapel. Elegantly redesigned to showcase much of the house's original heritage, Cromlicks has been furnished with specially sourced Scottish antique furniture. We have our own little like, wing up here with a bathroom. Into our room. Oh, look at these cute pictures of the Scottish men. Our room had a modern bath with a separate toilet, luxurious Penhalagon bath products, a spacious, comfortable bedroom with a fireplace, and Egyptian cotton bedding. These windows gave us a splendid view of the manicured grounds and surrounding countryside. 
It was a pleasure to sit eating the fresh fruit that had been left for us and look out the windows. We even spotted a deer and a few rabbits. How do you say that you're staying in a luxurious, old, refinished hotel without saying that you're staying in an old, luxurious, finished hotel? You actually have a key. Good work, Cromwick's house. There's been Prosecco in the room. Bubbly here. Why is that? I don't know. I guess some nice person made arrangements for that. Well, let's hope this goes as well as the one did yesterday. Thank you, nice person. I'm just going to go out and go off. It wasn't quite the as poppy as the last one, but still good. Very relaxing, don't you think? It's very quiet. Weirdly quiet. Thank you. Here's to 37 years in one day. Cheers. Thank you. Is this going to be a whole year of this? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see uh, how it goes. How's that? 365 days and bubbly. And a plum. You're quite the plum. I'm not sure how to eat a plum. With your mouth. I just want to eat a plum. Just bite it. I don't know. Dining at Cromlick's is always a culinary experience. Chef Rue Restaurant is housed in the glass walled conservatory overlooking the grounds and also offers the diners a ringside view of the chefs at work in the open kitchen. We enjoy dinner and breakfast here. My sea bass starter. Yum. This bread is really, really good as well. Yum. Deer. Potatoes. Vegetables. Um, to start things off, we have our goat's cheese at the board. So it's Scottish goat's cheese. Um, it's quite creamy, quite soft, quite a mild cheese. Um, it's called the Golden Cross. And when it's made, it's rolled in ash, which gives it a bit of texture, okay. a little bit of colour to it. Uh, moving on, we have our two softer cheeses. Okay. Uh, they're both French. First, we have the Delice de Cremier, which is a very soft cheese, very creamy. And we have the Guava Brie, so it's a French brie. Uh, moving on, we have our two harder cheeses. We have the Spanish. Um, Queso manchego. <laughs> we have the queso manchego, Spanish cheese. And um, a little bit stronger, a little bit richer. It was my favourite cheese in the okay. okay. And then we have the Scottish smoked cheddar. So the smoked a lot. Okay. Uh, finally, of the two blues, we have the Scottish blue, which is the Lanark blue. Okay. And finally, the Picos blue, which is our Spanish blue, okay. uh, wrapped in maple leaves. So, you're welcome to try a little bit of each if you like, or a certain few, you want whatever you'd like. You, you, you why don't you give me the three soft ones, yeah. and then the, the, the cheddar. Yeah, the smoked cheddar? Yes. Yeah. Those, those four. Yeah. No problem. Trying either one of the blues, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. I know. Always hopefully give them a try. Dessert. So it's always a good meal when you can end it up with a 
cheese board and some wonderful California cab. We're looking at 2014 Heights cab tonight. It's going down so nicely. But this is this is dessert. Plus, 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 plus. So, cheers. Slanche Bob. They left slippers by the bed with a little towel. They turned the bed down and they left this little Sebastian Quebelt. And I'm honestly so full I can't eat them. And it was very good. Don't you think dinner was very good? Sorry, I'm <laughs> taking off my shirt. That's for the patrons only. Channel. Yeah. Dinner was fantastic. It's uh not quite quite the place that you pull the camera out and do a whole YouTube thing with. So we took some video with our phones. Hopefully you'll see some of the food. Um, the cheese. Ay, ay, ay. If I could eat, well, first of all, if I ate cheese at the end of every meal, I'd weigh 400 pounds. But it was really, really good. Service was great. Ambiance was great. I had a bottle of American wine here in uh, Scotland. A nice bottle of Cab from Heights Cellars. But... I got to look at my beautiful wife all through dinner and had a great night. Did you? Yes, very nice. So we're very tired. Very. We're very full. Very. We're going to hit the hay here and get some sleep. Got a big day of driving and exploring tomorrow. I think we're going to try to go to Glencoe, the Cameron Family Museum, and then on to spend the night at another small luxury hotel you just have to tune in next week and see where we end up tomorrow thanks for watching we appreciate you watching mrs carnes and me here's to hoping that you too are living the good life we were not disappointed with our stay at cromwick's house everything from the welcome the room the staff and the food was first rate